meet me in the middle I'm losing my mind just a little So why don't you just meet me in the middle In the middle What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a hair care video on how um, I went from really damaged to healthy hair. Not that I'm like achieved my hair goals, but my hair journey I would say is about four years long. I used to be a professional dancer and because of that I was teasing my hair, hair spraying it, I was bleaching it at the time, and all of that did a lot of damage to my hair. I also had extensions in. Um, I've gone through all different kinds of extensions. I've had the fused ones, that are just fused kind of at the hairline with like a nutrient-based fusion. I've had the kinds that are beaded in separate all throughout my hair and I've also done the um, kind of like weave one that they kind of like sew into your hair and I've used clip-ins throughout my um, life. So I've tried it all and for me personally, they don't work. They ruin my hair every single time because it pulls at my hair. And from dancing, I've had experience where, you know, we do a lot of hair flips and it kind of just pulled at my hair over time. And some people, you know, extensions help their hair grow, but for me personally, it never helped. <laughs> I was not born with luxurious, perfect hair that just dries naturally stunning and voluptuous and soft and straight or even like a nice curly. It dries kind of like frizzy and curly on one side, straight right here, and then like really curly underneath. So <laughs> I kind of have all the different hair types. I never just let it, oh, this is our other cat, Phoebe. This is my roommate's cat. I'm gonna make a guest appearance since in all my videos, that's what happens. This is Phoebe. Phoebe. You say hi to the camera. Hello! <laughs> She's a Lynx Point Siamese. She's so sweet. She looks like a little cinnamon roll. So, if you guys see cats running around here, we have two and it's Theta and Phoebe. I apologize. Just ignore them. Anyways, back to my hair story. Where was I? At the very beginning, I had extensions and I decided, once I was done dancing, I decided I was going to take my extensions out. And when I did, my hair was probably this short. It was like this thin all the way, like my, all, my ponytail was legitimately like this thin. It was really depressing. I bawled in my roommate at the time's room. I was so upset um, that my hair was just so damaged and I didn't think there was any hope, but I was, I was determined to grow it back to its potential because I just had never really taken care of it and put time and effort into treating my hair the way it should be treated. Um, so I've definitely come a long way from where I was. Um, if you ask any of my friends, you'll know that this length naturally is a big step for me. Basically what I'm going to be sharing with you, um, is how I've gotten my hair to get healthy again from dancing and from kind of really damaging it. I even came down to a point where my hair was, I could pull it and it would come out in the shower. Like, I mean, it was so damaged chemically. I had chemically burnt my hair is I guess the technical term. And there's a few different reasons on how I got my hair back to being healthy. Um, part of it is due to my amazing hairstylist, Cassie, she's been with, I've been going to her for the past, I would say, four years now. And she's been with me from the very start when I had extensions to now and she's helped me kind of regrow my hair and color it and treat it with the right um, product so that it's not damaging and so I owe a lot of this to her um, and she's really great but I don't see her every single day so a lot of it is just how I've treated my hair through different products and these are very affordable products none of these are gonna break your bank but um, these are the things that have worked for me and I highly recommend to all my friends who have thin maybe brittle damaged hair um, so I'll just kind of start with 
um, the supplement I take. So it's nothing crazy. I use the Trader Joe's Biotin Dietary Supplement. Looks just like that. Um, I just take, I think it's, yeah, one capsule a day. And I'm not like, I only take these. I've also tried the gummies, not the sugar care bear or whatever they're called, but just regular gummies. Um, I think it's like the little pink ones you can get at Kroger. Um, I just always take Biotin. There's not like a certain brand that I live, I live by. I've tried just a few different ones, but that's the one I'm currently taking. I really like it. Um, and I just take that once a day. I also used to take um, collagen supplements, and that's supposed to be good for your face, your skin as well. So, um, you know, I just think a supplement to take just to help grow your hair and nail and skin is always a good idea. The next step I will talk about is what I use to condition and shampoo my hair. So, whenever I was starting out, I started going to my friends asking what. Um, shampoo and conditioner they use and my friend Katie recommended she has long beautiful blonde hair and um, she recommend I use the mane and tail moisturizing texturizing kind of shampoo and conditioner so you can get this at Kroger Walmart Sally's um, I just typically pick mine up at Kroger when I'm there but I use this and this is definitely one of the reasons my hair is how like as healthy it is today um, I don't use this now, every single time I wash my hair, I probably use it every third wash because it is very um, drying. So it dries out your hair and it can, if you use it too much, it'll start to break your hair off and that kind of defeats the whole purpose. So this is definitely something that I do use every once in a while still, but at the beginning I tried to mix it up with a um, shampoo conditioner that was very hydrating so that every other wash I would do that just to keep it um, a good routine on my hair. And then to follow up after I would get out of the shower, I would just put my hair in a towel for a little bit and then I would go in with the next product and that's the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. This is the smaller one. I couldn't find the larger one. There's different sizes. This is kind of expensive, I will say. I think it's like 30 bucks for this small little thing and the next one up is like $48. So that's the sucky part, but you really aren't using that much of this when you use it. So I spray this in my hair all over when it's wet and I just brush it out but you don't use that much and I probably had this for three-ish months and I still have a lot left um, and I just put that in when my hair is wet I kind of let it dry and that's when I do my makeup and as that's drying it'll you know it'll soak in all the different ingredients that are in the product so there's you know it's a 10 does 10 things instantly it says repairs dry damaged hair adds shine detangles controls frizz seals and protects hair color prevents split ends stops hair breakage creates silkiness enhances natural body and it's a flat iron spray and thermal protector so it's just all in one literally and you just put it all over your hair and it's just it's a wonderful product that i've been using for the past four years and that's another one my friend katie recommended to me <laughs> so shout out katie you the bomb so once my hair's kind of been dried it's i'm about to blow dry it i go in with this next product and i just got introduced to this one um i want to say last year and this is the second time i purchased it so it lasts quite a while and i put probably like a quarter sized amount in my hand it's the i'm going to butcher this let's see Agadar, Agadir, Agadar, Argon Oil Hair Treatment. It hydrates and conditions. It leaves hair shiny, smooth, luxurious, and healthy. It looks just like this. You can get this on Amazon. That's the only place I know where to get it. I'm sure you can get it other places, but I love Amazon, so this is where I get this. And it smells really good, just like Argon Oil, if you're familiar. And I just put a little bit in my hair. It's probably not necessary to do both, but I do, and I always have. Um, put some kind of oil at the end, at least on the ends. I don't put it at the roots because then you're going to have really oily, greasy hair and you don't want that. So I put this on the ends. I just rub it on my palms and then I just kind of put on the ends of my hair just to treat that because this is the part that's going to break off the fastest. And so you want to be able to treat that and protect it while you are putting heat on it and um, a lot of chemicals from hairspray. Um, the next thing I want to mention is one of the like hair masks that I've been using since I started this kind of hair journey um, to back to good healthy hair is the so I whenever I'm feeling like 
my hair needs a break, I really try to put some kind of mask on my hair and I sleep in it. And, you know, some people go out and buy expensive masks for their hair, but I found that just a simple coconut oil um, hair mask does the trick. I do it probably once or twice a month because you don't need to do it too much because if you put too many vitamins into your hair, it can also be bad. I know that sometimes doesn't make sense and I'm not a hair expert whatsoever. I'm just, you don't want to put too much protein into your hair, um, just enough to balance out what you've been doing to damage it. So I use, and I've had this for so long. This is the Luann coconut oil and it's 100% pure. I'm sure you can get this at like Trader Joe's or something, but it just looks like this. It's a solid, so when you take it out, it's just like white solid, and you just rub it around your hands, and it kind of starts to liquefy. And um, I just put it, I mean, roots to ends, and I just soak it up. I look like my hair is soaking wet, but it does the trick. And I braid my hair into two braids. Sometimes I do French braids, whatever, and then I sleep in that overnight. And then I wake up and I shower shampoo and conditioner just like I would normally do. And... Um, I just find my hair always feels so much softer and smoother. It kind of just gives it a little boost. You can also go to your hair stylist and do deep conditioning treatment. I do those every once in a while if I have some extra time at the salon whenever I go see Cassie. Um, but I definitely recommend some kind of hair treatment, a deep conditioner, especially, especially around the cold months. Um, because it's so dry outside, I mean, your hair's gonna, it's gonna start breaking off and getting really dry and just look super frizzy and just not pretty anymore. So you definitely wanna be able to take care of it and pay attention to those things. So my natural hair color is not obviously this blonde, but it's not a brunette color. Um, if you aren't super familiar with hair color and stuff like that, then this might not make sense or maybe this is new information, but my hairstylist, Cassie, um, kind of talked to me about it and I know blondes usually understand this. So my hair is a very ashy um, blonde color. I haven't had my hair done in a while. I got it done in, I think, early December, but um, my hair is a natural kind of I would say dishwater blonde. It's not bright blonde. It's not brunette. It's just, it's not like a beautiful color. It's kind of boring and dingy looking. So I don't put straight bleach on my hair. I don't bleach my roots. I only highlight my hair and I do, I go back and forth between a partial and a full and I do highlights which lifts my natural color and sometimes I do a toner or a um, base break which, you know, I'm not 100% um, educated enough to tell you what that exactly means but I do that every once in a while and I don't constantly do that to my hair because I don't want to damage it too much since I've gotten it to kind of the length I want but like I said I go back and forth between um, a partial and a full highlight so I think I'm getting my hair done in February and I'm gonna be doing a partial because I just got a full and um, Another thing is I don't like blue tones on my hair. So just like how I said on my skin tones, I usually always go for a warmer look. The same kind of goes with my hair. That doesn't mean I like a brassy color because I definitely don't like a brassy blonde. Um, but I don't like a ash blonde, which some people can get from doing a toner. So it's I think it's also really important to find a hairdresser that and a stylist that understands your hair color and they can um, help you get to the kind of goal you're wanting to get to. So I've always tried to go for a more of a warmer look, a buttery blonde rather than like a white blonde or an ash blonde. And I trust me, I've been ash blonde before and I've been a white blonde and I don't like either. I've also done a balayage before, just kind of darkened this, like I darkened my roots and pulled it all the way down to right here a few Decembers ago. I thought it was trying to be really cool and trendy, but in the end, I always go back. I could never full on dye my hair. I don't know. I just couldn't do it. But um, what I was saying is about the hair colors that I've kind of gone for being more of like a, a golden color is um, using purple shampoos and red shampoos to balance those out. I know the purple shampoos kind of help if you see that brassy color to start to 
put use that mix that in with your um, wash cycles to balance out if you have any brassy tones in your hair and then the same with red if you're getting too um, if you're getting too ashy you want to use a, a red shampoo and conditioner to balance that out and vice versa so the next product that I'm going to share with you is, um, and I've already mentioned this before, is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Moisture Barrier Firm Hold Hairspray. So this is um, a new find for me. I mentioned this in my December favorites, but it is a hairspray. It's really affordable. Um, Kroger, CVS, Walgreens, Cro anywhere you can get this. And it's just a great hairspray, especially down here in Texas where the humidity is real high and um you want that curl to hold or your hair you want to hold a you want to hold a straight that doesn't make sense you want your hair to stay straight um also it helps with flyaways and and hair that's being particularly difficult so i really like this hairspray i've used the bedhead ones before and i still have one in my bathroom bathroom i use every once in a while it's the um, blue bottle with the cool little pointed lid and that's a great hold hairspray I really do enjoy that one but it is pretty pricey and I don't like to drop that much on hairspray if I run through it so much and the same thing um, goes for the Batiste instant hair refresh dry shampoo and this is in the scent floral and flirty it looks just like this I use Batiste I probably go through these like in a week and a half. I go through dry shampoo so quick because I don't wash my hair every night. Sorry, I don't. I probably wash my hair every two to three days. That doesn't mean I don't shower. I shower every single day. I just don't wash my hair. So I'll just put it in a bun, wash my body. Um, but you're not supposed to wash your hair that often it gets rid of the natural oils in your hair that are good for it and if you constantly are washing your hair every single day it's gonna rip those natural oils out of your hair and then that's when you have another problem altogether so um dry shampoo is a dancer's best friend because you have um games and practices and appearances and everything like that you don't have time to wash and dry and style and hairspray and tease your hair every single day so being able to just spray some dry shampoo in your hair and then put it all in and just let it sit is such a lifesaver like whoever invented dry shampoo bless you um another alternative sometimes people use i know it's hard for brunettes um is baby powder like I said in my favorites video, I hate the scent of baby powder, so I refuse to use it. But, you know, if that's your thing, you go for it. I just really like Batiste. There's another scent I'm obsessed with, but I can only find it at, like, random Walgreens every once in a while. And I don't even know the scent, but it's so fresh. Um, this is my favorite scent. The original is also a good one. They have a few other ones, like a tropical one. But and There's other brands of dry shampoos that I've tried also. Um, I really like Batiste because it's real affordable and you can get it at any drugstore and or on Amazon. And the other ones I've tried before are the Living Proof and Dry Bar and those are great. Um, I feel like the Dry Bar one, to me in my opinion, is really chalky and you can feel the product and it, it doesn't make my hair feel any more clean. It almost makes it feel a little bit more dirty. Um, I do like the Living Proof one. That one's nice but... Overall, hands down, Batiste is my go-to, and I also like they have the travel ones you can throw in your bag, so that's really great. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is what I use to curl my hair right now. Um, Since the It's a 10 already has a thermal heat protector in it, I don't put anything additional in my hair. Once I blow dry it, after I put the argon oil in, I blow dry my hair, I kind of get dressed, and then, because I'm always wearing my robe, and um, I get dressed while my curling iron is heating up and the one that I use is pretty basic. I don't use a wand because my hair, when I use a wand, I feel like it gets um, very ringlety and um, tight and I feel like, I don't know, I just, it doesn't look that great on me. I used to always do the wand and I look back at pictures and I'm like, why? So um, probably started doing this in college my friend Katie again, just love you so much. Katie, don't know what I'd do without you.
taught me how to curl my hair with a curling iron. So I use the Con Air one and one fourth inch and it's pretty basic. I got this at CVS as well and I just, how I curl my hair and if you, if you're interested in me doing like a hair tutorial, I can totally do one. Just like comment below and I'll definitely do one. So I take my hair in small pieces and I get it from the very top. I clamp and you don't want to clamp like this and this isn't plugged in by the way. So don't freak out like my hair is going to like burn off. You don't want to clamp it like this because you're going to get a nice little crease right at the top. When you clamp it down, make sure you're kind of following the curve of the barrel. And so I clamp it down and I start to press down and wrap it around the barrel. And then um, whenever I have the last little inch around, I just hold it there for like a second. My hair also holds curl really well. And then I just take it out and let it fall. And I don't immediately hairspray it. And I don't immediately um, brush it through. I just let it sit. And I wrap, I work my way around the rest of my hair. Um, another thing that I do is I do curl away from my face on both sides. Um, that's how I get this kind of look right here that's a little bit beachy. Um, I don't curl towards my face. I just don't like the way that looks but every once in a while I'll throw in a curl that's opposite to break up and avoid the one head of one curl where all of your hair goes one way and then it kind of just forms like one little curl right there so I do sometimes throw in a curl that goes the opposite way just to break that up but once all of my hair is completely curled I let it sit for just a little bit to cool down and before I ever spray it with hairspray I let it cool down so it can hold it because you don't want to spray it when it's still hot because it'll kind of like It'll kind of weigh it down and then your curls will probably most likely fall, especially if you have thicker, heavier hair. I, unfortunately, have really thin hair. I just have a lot of thin hair. Um, and so after it's cooled down, then is that's when I spray my hair all over. Um, I flip my hair upside down and I spray it. And then I take a brush and I just brush through it. I really like brushed out curls, not um, tight hair sprayed curls. So I just brush through my hair and get, gets it nice and fluffy. You can do a little hair flip, you know, to fluffen it up if you'd like. I always do a hair flip before I take a picture to get my hair looking fluffy. So that is my hair care video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been um, really trying to grow my hair out nice and long for the wedding. My wedding is in June and I would like my hair to be like another inch and a half naturally. Um, I might wear clip-in extensions for volume because I'm wearing my hair half up half down for the wedding so it'll look something like this. Um, and so just for volume because I do have thin hair um, I will probably wear just clip-ins but um, I've been taking care of my hair and trying to grow it out for the past four years, honestly. And it, my hair just takes a really long time. Um, but I, I followed these steps and used these products religiously. And these are the ones that I've found work best for me. It might not be the best option for you, but I wanted to share um, because I have had a lot of questions from friends and family who have seen me go from brittle, unhealthy, damaged hair to what I would say is a lot healthier version of my hair. And so I wanted to share this with you. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, Please leave any comments below on videos you'd like to see next or if you have any questions for me about my hair or beauty or anything like that. So thank you so much for watching. Bye. It's me. Okay, that was weird. Sorry, I have a lot of hair in my brush. That's gross. Phoebe approves of this video.